Okay, this is section 3.2 and 3.3, and this is on some probability rules which have compound events. In other words, we're looking at two variables in here. Instead of just looking at what's the probability of somebody being female, we might say what's the probability that the person is female and also in a certain math class, or what's the probability that they're female and wear glasses, or what's the probability that they're taller than six foot and male, or what's the probability that they play basketball and got an A in math, or played basketball or got a math. Or, or got an A in math. So two variables going on here. So this first uh, example here, or a lot of examples we're going to do here, have tables. This table has two variables going on with it, the person's gender, male or female, and the math class that they're in, Math 102, Math 105, Statistics, or Math 90. And I have the totals here for the total number of males that are in each class adds up to 80, total number of females is 95, total number of people in each math class right here, total number of people in 102, 30, total, total number of people in math 105 is 40, and so on. Here's your grand total, 175. This is called a bivariate table because bi means two, vari means variable, and there's two variables going on here, your gender and what math class that you're in. This is also known as a contingency table. So that's a good vocabulary word to know. A contingency table is also a table that has two variables. So starting off with some, some uh, basic probability rules, we might want to know, for example, what is the probability that a person is female? Well, how many females do we have? We have 95 out of the grand total of 175. So the answer to this would be 95 out of 175, and you could use a calculator and switch that to a decimal and get that to a percent if you needed to. We might also want to know what's the probability that a person is in Math 102. Well, we have a total of 30 people in Math 102 out of the grand total of 175. So the answer to this problem would be 30 out of 175, or you could switch this to a percentage. We may also want to know something like this. What is the probability of a person not being in Math 102 with a little, oh, the best thing I can do there is just say a little hyphen like we did before um, is what I'm looking for uh, to say not in math 102. In other words, what I'm looking for here is what is the probability that the person is not in math 102. Well, the probability that the person is not in math 102 is equal to 1 minus the probability that the person is in math 102. Okay, so instead of adding up all the probabilities, really all we need to do here is take 1 minus the previous answer. The probability that somebody was in math 102 was 30 out of 175. And if I take 1 minus 30 out of 175, well, you might want to switch this to a decimal first before you subtract, or 1 is the same as 175 out of 175. And if you subtract, subtract, you get 145 out of 175. And you could always switch that to a decimal if you wanted to. And let me do that real quick here. I'll uh, go ahead and start uh, the calculator that's on uh, Windows just to use that calculator. And here's a calculator. And I'm just going to figure out what is 145 divided by 175. And I get this 0.82857. So let me write that in here. 82857, I believe it was, which is the same as the number or the percentage, 82 point eight five seven percent. So what we could have done during this problem is if we would have got this answer right here as a percent, 30 out of 175, let me do that again on a calculator. So let me clear this and do 30 divided by 175. I get 0 .17142, 0 .17142. I think there was an 8 after that. 
0 0.171428, which is the same as the percentage, 17.1428%. So what I could have done if I had it as a percentage, or even as a decimal, I could have just taken 1 minus 0.1714, and that's about 83%, and that's what this is about right here, 83%. Now those are still basic probabilities, but right here starts the compound probability. So let's take a look at this problem right here. 